Howdy folks, this is Levi Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV. For those of you that have been around for more than a couple of years, you've probably heard my voice before on the channel. For those of you that are newer to the channel, you may not have heard my voice here in a video before. Uh, I used to do a decent amount of these myself, but with the growth of our business, uh, I have taken on responsibilities and other aspects of the business, and Luke has taken on more of a role of the marketing and video editing here for our YouTube channel and dealership. Uh, this one here is actually my personal coach. That is why I'm doing the video on it, because I know more about it than he obviously would, being my own. Uh, this is a 2007 Gulfstream Endura 6340. It has 17,417 miles. Those are actual miles. I bought this unit from the original owner. A very, very clean coach. Uh, when I went and looked at it in his barn, I was honestly shocked by the condition it was in. Uh, when, I, when I went and looked at it in his barn, um, the thing was looked like it was brand new. Um, he was an engineer for Chase Brass in Montpelier, Ohio. Um, so he was a local guy here. I've seen it advertised locally. And I actually had one of these uh, maybe five years ago, six years ago. I sold it and kind of regretted it. This thing, I seen it up for sale, and I was like, hey, talked to my wife. We need to uh, go look at this thing. So we did. We ended up purchasing it. And with all that said, why am I selling it now? Uh, again, with the growth of our business, Luke and I have taken on a couple of endeavors. Uh, we started up a couple other upper opportunities. And... At the time being, with with those things going on and the stage in life that we're in with our kids, um, just makes a little more sense to sell this right now. Have the capital for some of our investments and business opportunities here. Other than that, if it wasn't for that, this thing would never be for sale. Um, so when I first bought this from him, uh, this is modified here. So we'll go over this first. This is a hideaway bed. So those are going to pop out. That's actually a hideaway bed. It's not a jackknife. It is a hideaway uh, we've got storage over top here. This section here, this was a dinette. My wife and I never like to spend a whole lot of time inside the camper, especially when it's eating. We sit outside the picnic table under the shade, tree, uh, canopy, whatever we've got. We are outdoors people. Um, so we did not want the dinette in here. Um, so we, we kind of, I put my head together with one of my guys, Mike, and my wife, and we came up with this design. Uh, we wanted bunks for the kids. I've got two daughters and a boy. So my two daughters will sleep here. And then my wife always thought that the refrigerators, even though this is a nice size refrigerator, said that she never had enough space. Uh, so down here we incorporated two little mini fridges. These are going to be 110 only. So these are 110 electric. These are just regular dorm style little refrigerators. Doors open side by side there like that. And then uh, we wanted this space. We kind of keep our trash can in here sometimes. Also, this is a spot that our, our kids can shove their luggage, their bags, things like that. Uh, we got pretty decent sized little bunks out of these. Again, this is all custom built into here. That did not come like that from the factory. I do still have the dinette uh, for if somebody purchased it and they wanted that for down the road or something, they thought they might want to put it back in. I did keep the dinette, so if you want that, you are more than welcome to have that if you purchase this. Nice large kitchen area here. Got a double bowl sink. Those both have cutting board covers on those. Uh, we never really cook on the stove here, so we just kind of use this all as counter space. There is the covers there. Um, it is just a cooktop. This is a convection microwave. This is all solid surface Corian countertops. This is your Dometic two-way, so this is going to operate on propane gas or 110 volt electricity. Freezer section and refrigerator. Coming back to the hall here, we have our control center. This does have 50 amp service because it has two air conditioners. This is going to operate the front air conditioner, which is a 13.5 BTU. Our gen start and stop. That is an Onan 5500. Let me see if the hours will pop up here. 439 hours on the generator. Propane water heater, levels test, and water pump. Both switches here are for uh, each of the slide outs. This gives you access to some of the plumbing there for the... Um, shower there is a pocket door excuse me i missed that there's a pocket door right here it slides across so if you want to be separated from your kids or guests you're able to do so right here we've got a nice size little wardrobe i guess that's kind of redundant there nice size and little uh, it's a nice size wardrobe or excuse me 
pantry. That's a pantry. And there's lots of room for clothes. Uh, this here is a large, what I think the manufacturer called a wardrobe. And we also have some more over here as well. So there's tons and tons of storage for clothes. Uh, if you tend to need to take that many clothes, we did not take that many clothes. So I actually put some shelving in here and we use this for storage. This is all just modular. So that can be removed, but you can see that the, the rod is still up there to hang your clothes. If you deem that you need more clothes. And again, this are all of our personal belongings. Um, if this coach does not sell, we're gonna continue to keep using this. Uh, so the miles might go up just slightly on this if we decide to go on more camping trips this summer, fall, or spring. Nice large drawers here. And again, these are all of our personal belongings. I will have all this stuff removed. Uh, if you're interested, I want you to come out and look. If it's what you want, we'll work out a deal. Get all that taken care of before I remove my personal items because again, I am gonna to continue to use this. Thermostat for the back air conditioning. More wardrobes, as stated previously. Two drawers underneath one of the, each one of these. Small drawer and big drawer. I'm not gonna squeeze back there to open that one. That's identical to this. TV for the bedroom. Little makeup table stand here. We use that to charge our devices. Uh, I think my wife will sit there from time to time to do her makeup. Back window is your exit window. Window behind there. This is a um, adjustable, it's not really a oh, sleep number, but it's kind of similar to a sleep number. It's got the remotes here that you can adjust. Um, this is, I've slept in quite a few campers. I sleep better in this camper than I have ever slept in a camper before. One of the reasons that I would probably regret selling this if I do sell this. Um, I always sleep very, very well in this in this camper. This bed's very comfortable. Uh, cabinets over top there. Rooftop air conditioning unit. All of the lights um, were converted to LEDs. So it had halogen bulbs in it before. All those have been removed. As far as this style of lights, these are all new. Uh, these ones here still have the halogen bulbs in them, but those style ceiling lights, those are all new with LED, LED fixtures. Again, wardrobe. There is an accordion uh, curtain here. If you still wanted people to be able to get to the restroom, but wanted your privacy at the bed, you can pull this shade across the screen across here and still have your privacy back here at the bed, but everybody else to be able to access the bathroom which is right here. This is a nice large dry bath. Get our toilet. Skylight over the shower for extra headroom. I'm 6'3", oh, on a good day, probably around 230 pounds. So I'm a pretty big guy. Um, I've showered in this unit, this shower here, multiple times when we're camping. Uh, so pretty ample space in there that it's, it's pretty easy to take a shower in there. Um, noxious gas detector there that is new replaced that when i got it again your control center here I'm trying to think what else i did to this coach when i got it the main thing was this renovation here the led lights um i did put new tires on it uh, so that's one thing i first did when i bought it it had the original tires on it those got swapped out right away did a tune-up on the engine uh did new plugs and wires I bought this coach, I've had it right around two years now. Uh, so we're going on right about two years that I've owned this. Uh, again, 17,000 original miles. We've put maybe 3,000 of those on there. Haven't done any super long trips. I think Tennessee or Kentucky might've been the longest. Uh, done quite a few local trips here around Ohio, Indiana, Michigan. Uh, and then we've got the bunk up top here. Uh, one of my kids do sleep up here. Other than that, we kind of use it for storage if we're not sleeping or while we're traveling. Some bags and extra goodies will go up here. As you can see, I've got my water cooler, pillows. We use this little step stool ladder to get up here uh, for the kids. This chair is a swivel chair, rocker, all that good stuff. Footrest for that can be used in any one of these, but that's a footrest there. Uh, so this unit will sleep two people up here, two on the couch, two in the bunks, and then two in the rear. So that's two, four, six, eight total of eight. So if you are grandma and grandpa with a bunch of grandkids or mom and dad with a decent sized family, 
Uh, plenty of room for all of you to sleep in here. Another flat screen up here. This door opens, so if you want to direct that towards the couch, uh, you can do so, so you can watch that. DVD player, sound amplifier, all that good stuff there. Again, this is my personal coach. If you're interested, contact me, Levi, at 419-770-1515. Uh, we can talk about it. If you want to come out and check it out, probably have you come right here to my house. I'm going to put this back in the barn here uh, as soon as I'm done filming it. Uh, but again, I'm going to leave my personal belongings in here until I get somebody that's pretty serious on it. Uh, if we get to that point, we'll have our stuff removed. I'll have my guys go through and double check any systems and stuff before we send it down the road as well as do a full detail. Um, so if you have any questions, again, give me a call. What do you call a dog that can do magic tricks? What do you call a dog that can do magic tricks? A Labracadabrador. If you have any questions, give me a call. 419-770-1515. All right, after I finish the other portion of the video, I figured this would be a question that people would want answered. Yes, this coach is functional with the slide outs in. Um, the sofa bed here would not be, obviously. You can't fold that out, uh, but somebody could still sleep on the couch. And there is plenty of room to walk down the center aisle through this coach. Uh, so the bunk beds are still fully functional. You can still get into the restroom. The restroom door still opens to get into there. You can open it all the way, it does not hit the, the wardrobe there, and the bed is still usable, albeit you cannot walk around it, uh, like when you have the slide out out, it is touching the cabinets there, but it is still fully um, usable. So if you're traveling and you're pulling to rest stop, you don't want to have to worry about running the slides out, this thing is still fully functional with the slide outs in. All right, we're going to run around the outside of this coach. It is 35 feet bumper to bumper. Again, the tires were new when I, I put those on when I purchased it about two years ago. So the tires have about two years of age on them and probably roughly 3,000 to 4,000 miles. Um, so still have plenty, lots and lots and lots of life left. Um, we do have a power awning. Two slide outs, one in the bedroom, one in the living room. Large storage compartment here that goes all the way across. You got fishing poles or anything long, lawn chairs, stuff like that all fits up here nicely. Again, these are some of our personal belongings in here that will be removed. Um, entertainment center, which I think is just a little radio. I've honestly never opened or used that because I always have my Bluetooth speaker with me. Um, this was another modification that we made here. I'm always jealous of the people that have the outdoor kitchens, uh, mainly for the beer cooler. So I had this installed. This is an Iceco um, fridge freezer. Looks, looks just like a cooler. Still a couple of, of uh, beverages in there from the last camping trip, which was uh, just last weekend. Uh, that's on a slide out tray here. Flip the handle, it goes in and out real easy. That was added. Here's our six gallon uh, tank style, so six gallon tank water heater, that is propane. Vent and access to the refrigerator, vent for the propane furnace. The storage compartment here, the door swings to the sideways, but it's about like to the front one there. It does go a long ways across. We've got our lawn chairs. This is a canopy, so that thing's four or five foot. That slides all the way in there. Get that off that seal there. Uh, it's pretty good storage there. We use all of our camping equipment. We keep that on this side since it's kind of your camping side. Keep a little black stone there. That's electric. Uh, previous owner, there isn't much on this side for outlets. The previous owner had added that outlet there. Uh, which I use with this little orange cord here quite a bit to plug things in. Onan 5500 gasoline generator. It's a 5500 because of the two air conditioners because it's 50 amp service. Some extra fluids there. Does have a hitch on the rear. Uh, I've towed a decent amount of stuff with this. I've towed a boat. I've towed uh, my uncle and father-in-law on a boat. We've towed that behind here. Um, enclosed trailer, flap trailer with a golf cart, quite a few things on that. Added a little outlet here on the back too. That was also done by the original owner. Ladder that goes up to the roof. It does have a backup camera, it does work well. I leave that on all the time when we're traveling so I can see my trailer or just whatever's behind me. Spare tire below. 
your city water connection as well as your fill for your fresh water tank are right there. And actually the fresh water tank itself is right here. Uh, so that's accessible. This one is pretty deep as well. That's our um, mat that we use for in front of the door over there when we're camping. Help keep the dirt and stones and sand and all that stuff hopefully outside. Short power cord coil up there, a bunch of pie makers. Just pointing those things out so you can't gasoline tank. This did have an outside shower. Uh, previous owner removed that. Not sure exactly why. I never used them, um, so I never reinstalled it. I can if you really want me to. Um, black tank, gray tank, and those there are the actual tanks themselves. This technically would not be considered a four season uh, because the, although the, all these tanks are up above the floor, these compartments aren't necessarily heated. Uh, it's definitely going to help you with cold weather camping because they are above there. But to be true four season, I believe that uh, chute is actually supposed to be up into the compartment. And then those would all have to be heated as well to be considered a true four season. But having those above that floor level inside of a compartment is definitely going to help you uh, when things get colder. Although I do never recommend uh, sleeping in frigid temperatures with water. Uh, water can freeze in your residential home. So if it can do that, it's going to freeze in here. Nice large propane tank. Uh, we've got a half a tank now. I honestly think I've only maybe filled that once and we've done a decent amount of camping. So it's got a lot of capacity. Pump for the hydraulic levelers. Uh, it does have leveling jacks all the way around as well as the slides are hydraulic. The jacks are not um, automatic. You do have to push the buttons. And then I throw a, just a short little four foot level on the floor uh, to level myself out. Chevy C5500 chassis. It is powered by the 8100, the 8.1 liter uh, gasoline Blake big block motor. Uh, if you get any questions on this one, give me a call at 419-770-1515.